What's good, Wealth Builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about how to start a cell phone repair business. So let's go. Now tuned into the greatest. Okay, real quick. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's talk about this. How to start a cell phone repair okay. business. So before we get into breaking down starting a cell phone repair business, I want you to understand one thing and one thing only. You must have a passion for this business and passion will help you stay consistent in your journey to success okay honestly with any business starting any business you must have passion okay this is the only way to survive and create something magical you know what i'm saying nah seriously passion is the only thing that's going to push you through when things aren't going the right way when you feel like you're struggling when things aren't moving in a forward manner your passion is going to keep you pushing forward. Now, the next decision you have to make is what type of business, you know what I'm saying, what type of business model you're going to use to run your business with, okay? Because you can either go brick and mortar, which is more like, you know, having a storefront and having a, you know, central location for your customers and that's it. You can go mobile and brick and mortar, you know what I'm saying? Or you can do just mobile. I personally would think you would try to do, you know, brick and mortar and mobile. Okay. And I'm going to tell you as we go on how to do so. Because for me personally, just starting out with this cell phone repair business, it's going to be really hard to just be mobile. Okay. Because a lot of times people are going to want to come see where they're giving you their cell phone at. You know what I'm saying? They're handing you a precious thing, something that they, they put a lot of effort in, their videos, their photos, you know what I'm saying, their life is in their cell phone, and them handing it over to you for repair, you know what I'm saying, they're going to want somewhere somewhere they can go to be like, hey, this person has my cell phone at this location, all right, you can, you know what I'm saying, you can meet them at Starbucks, you can meet them at their home, you can even meet them at their, at their job and p repair the phone in a van, or, or what have you, but a lot of times people are not going to trust that. They'd rather bring it to somewhere or know there's somewhere they can go to go pick up their phone or go see you about their phone, okay? You can also get a mall kiosk. This is actually better than just a, um, just a storefront because a mall kiosk, you have the mall, people come into the mall, so you can get those customers. Also, you can, you know what I'm saying, forward the people that you meet out in the street with your marketing to that kiosk okay and this is a great way to have a central location to send your customers to instead of them you going to them all right bottom line next up after you figured out your business model make sure you get proper training on how to do cell phone repair all right, you don't want to just skip this part. Even if you're already good at fixing phones and you know how to fix an iPhone, you know how to fix an Android, you've done this stuff before, you need formal training to make sure you have the know-how when it comes to multiple phone types. And also, I believe a lot of those, those formal trainers give certifications and stuff like that. You could place up on your wall or place up, you know what I'm saying, somewhere for your customers to see and that they know that you're a fully trained cell phone repair person. And plus, you can charge a little bit more because you are fully trained, all right? And honestly, your best bet will buy will, will to do this and then buy um, broken phones for sale online through Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, all these sites, and you purchase broken phones through these sites, then attempt to fix them, okay? You do these fixes, you learn these phones inside and out before you even, even offer, you know what I'm saying, your services to other people, okay? Because you don't want to mess anybody's phones up, okay? This will give you a good amount of experience that's so you can know how to do what you need to do to make your money as a cell phone repair person, okay? You don't want to just 
hey, I, I, I want to do this. I'm starting this business. And but you don't know how to how to really repair every cell phone out there or the majority of cell phones out there, because obviously you're not going to know how to repair everyone. But at least, you know, a good amount when you're first starting out. OK, also set up a YouTube channel. OK, and record yourself fixing these phones and give people tips on how to fix certain phones. OK, this can drive additional revenue and start to bring in clients as you grow your clientele. OK, so with YouTube, you can start building, you know, what I'm saying your subscribers and your view, your, your views and start making money through your YouTube channel, even sell your services through your YouTube channel, or even maybe create a video series or ebook that you can have people buy and they can learn and you can teach them how to repair cell phones. You can even do a class on Udemy, just, you know what I'm saying? That's how you can teach people how to repair cell phones and you can sell it through your YouTube channel, okay? It's a great way to drive a separate residual, separate regularly passive income while you're hunting for different customers and hunting to build your business on a local level, okay? Because you don't want to be broke while, while you know, say starting your business. This will definitely drive down your passion. This will definitely bring you down, okay? And you will be able to buy your cell phone repair tools from Amazon. I've seen a lot of great repair tools out there through Amazon, also through eBay, but I recommend Amazon. Um, there will be a link in the description. You can go check that out if you're looking to buy some repair tools or need to buy a cell phone repair kit, some to that effect. There will be links in the description for that also. Okay. And after you achieve all this, you will need to focus on finding customers. Okay. So you've achieved figuring out what your, what your cell phone repair business model is going to be. You figured out if it's going to be mobile. You figured out if you're going to find you a, a storefront or maybe you get a kiosk in the mall. You figured out that. Okay. Now you've gotten your tools. You've gotten your, your training. You've practiced on a few different phones. You've, you know what I'm saying? You've, you've got your experience up for the, this honestly probably is going to take you about anywhere between 30 to 90 days to get all those things together. Okay. And now that you've gotten all that together, you, you've achieved all this, right? You're going to need to get customers. Okay. For your new business venture with your cell phone repair business. Okay. You're going to definitely need to figure out how to get your customers. And with a cell phone repair business, you can start marketing right within your neighborhood or your university if you're in college or whatever, okay? You want to be able to go ahead and market to your to the people that you know. Honestly, this is like one of the few businesses out there that you can actually market to your warm market, meaning your warm market like um your friends, your family, your coworkers, things like that. As long as you know what you're doing and you feel confident in repairing these cell phones, maybe like changing out some screens here and there, things like that, and you feel confident of doing those type of things, then it's fairly easy to market to your warm market. Like I said, your friends, your family, coworkers, all that good stuff, okay? This is definitely um, something anyone can do. And as you get more customers, you can start to invest in marketing material like flyers, business cards, and even a website. Go figure, even a website. But seriously, though, you're going to need a website because you want people to go in and check out, you know what I'm saying, the services that you have to offer. Maybe you can sell some cell phones on there that you purchased for a low cost, okay, you fixed, and then you want to resell them on your website, stuff like that. You can, you can, you can finagle the bag over the cell phone repair business very easily once you learn how to fix the fix the phones because like i said you can buy these phones and fix them and get your practice on and then resell them resell them on amazon resell them on ebay or resell them through your website okay resell them to your, your direct customers okay this is an easy way to make some extra income while you're building your clientele and all that good stuff okay this is definitely an easy business to get started and make some good money in the process all right so definitely follow these steps very easy, man. If it's something that you really want to get into and you have the time and want to put in the effort and build it, this is for you. All right. So thanks for watching. It's Shibu Devon signing off for 
how to start a cell phone repair business. Do remember wealth builders? Make more. Save more. Build more. Peace. It's the Wealth Builders, baby.